ARM confirms existence of next-gen Cortex-X Black Hawk unit. Last week Patrick Moorhead, CEO and founder of More Insights and Strategy, shared his insider source thoughts about ARM's next-generation Cortex-X processor, Black Hawk is planned to enable in smartphones shipping at the end of 2024. I think phones could be on the shelf a year from now at C's or maybe MWC. Moorhead believes that Cortex X4 successor will be the most powerful option available at launch, which forms part of ARM CEO Rene Haas's strategy to eliminate the performance gap between ARM design processors and custom ARM implementations. He believes that this is a big and bold claim since Apple is widely considered to rule the roost here with its cutting-edge ARM-based bionic designs. Moorhead's inside information has Blackhawk demonstrating the largest year-over-year -year IPC performance increase in five years citing undisclosed Geekbench 6 results. He also presented evidence that the artificial intelligence processing is a key focus, I am hopeful these performance goals translate to app performance as well. ARM also believes that Blackhawk will provide great LLM performance. I will assume that this has to do with big CPU IPC performance improvements as ARM says that its Cortex CPU is the number one I target for developers. The NPU and GPU can be an efficient way to run I, but a CPU is the easiest and most pervasive way, which is why developers target it. A higher performing CPU obviously helps here. But as the world moves increasingly to smaller language models, ARM's platform with higher performing CPU and GPU combined with its tightly integrated ML libraries and frameworks will likely result in a more efficient experience on devices. The Register contacted an ARM representative regarding Mr. Moorhead's claims about a next-gen Cortex-X's existence, a surprisingly forthcoming response was obtained. I can confirm the information in the post from Patrick Moorhead is accurate. We will provide more details on Blackhawk when it launches later this year. No further comment at this time.